the stuffing, let's face it, is the best part of Thanksgiving. The fact that we don't eat stuffing in, on other holidays is very strange because everybody says that's my favorite thing and then they never make it again for an entire year. Not stuffing, but dressing. So it's cooked outside the bird, so it's nice and crusty. I don't stuff the bird with the stuffing. I do the stuffing separate. And then once I pull the turkey out, I put the stuffing in. I like to pack the bird with stuffing. It's always a beautiful tradition to stuff your turkey. And I think it also helps not getting the turkey too dry. You know, for me, there's, there's, a, there's a difference between cooking stuffing inside the turkey and outside of the turkey. The reason why I like to cook stuffing outside of the turkey is because I like to keep it moist. When you, when you take stuffing and you put it inside the bird, you have no control over moisture, really. Like when you make chicken stock or turkey stock and you get that fat at the top of it, and you want to like skim that off before you use it, don't. Incorporate that into your stuffing, and that's how you get that like in the bird, you know, turkey flavor, which is so distinct and delicious. Stuffing is, um, it's got to be cooked in bacon fat, right? It's just, it, it, I mean, it's just got to be. My stuffing typically has butternut squash, mushrooms, sausage, oh, and shallots, and shallots. The way to make the best stuffing is more fat, more salt, more moisture. People make their stuffing too dry. And also put sweet stuff in there. So prunes, raisins. I love my stuffing with a lot of things inside. I like dry fruits, cornbread, a little bit of sweet paper, hot paper, and sage. Sage is very important. Fresh grape, chestnut. We make a lot of pretzels, so we make a pretzel stuffing. We take the pretzels, we grind the gizzards, we grind mirepoix, carrots, onion, celery, and then we mix it all together with the, um, the confit leg. I do a bunch of different ones. Um, I can do like a cornbread and chorizo one, which I do sometimes. I like to do one with uh, wild rice and goat cheese and like country bread. The common mistake maybe is to not put enough fat. So you get the fat from the sausage sometimes, you get the fat from uh, the bacon if you put bacon in it. If you're a chef, you always have foie gras fat. And to me, it's the ultimate fat in the stuffing. I don't know, maybe you can make friends with the chef and tell him to keep you a little bit of foie gras fat for your stuffing. And guess what? If you really want to be like fancy, um, you can take your stuffing and like stuff it back inside the bird. But at the end of the day, I'm going to be real and honest with you. Very few people have the big turkey in the middle of the table on Thanksgiving. That is all about the movies. It's all about like friends and like the TV show. It does not actually happen because it's just inefficient. Do it for the picture, take the picture, and then get serious.